हेलो फ्रेंड नमस्कार आई एम जेके वी आर लर्निंग कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर डॉक्टर के मोहन सर वाज फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ एनसीसीबीएम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अस अबाउट द वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ कंक्रीट व्हाट आर द टेस्ट टू चेक द वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ कंक्रीट टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू टेल एस अबाउट द व्हाट आर द फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ द कंक्रीट what are the factors which are affecting workability of concrete workability of concrete depends on a number of interrelating factors the following are the factors affecting the workability of concrete there are 13 factors number 1 is water content or water cement ratio number 2 mix proportion number 3 size of aggregate number 4 shape of aggregate number 5 grading of aggregate number 6 surface texture of aggregates number 7 use of admixture number 8 use of supplementary cementitious material number 9 time number 10 temperature number 11 wind number 12 fineness of cement and finally number 13 sand to aggregate ratio now i will briefly discuss each factor one by one so number 1 is now what content of water cement ratio it is the most important factor of concrete the amount of water content available in a volume of concrete will have a significant effect on the workability of concrete the higher the water content per cubic meter of concrete the higher would be the fluidity of concrete thus providing greater lubrication this helps to increase the workability of the concrete workability increases with the increase of water however adding extra water to the concrete mix can be disadvantageous as the strength of the concrete gets reduced results in breeding of concrete and cement slurry also escapes through the joints of former resulting into loss of cement from concrete more water can be added provided a correspondingly higher quantity of cement is also added to keep the water cement ratio constant so that strength of concrete remains this now next one is mixed proportions in general aggregate cement ratio is also an important factor which influence influences the work aggregate cement ratio is inverse, inversely proportional to workability with lower aggregate cement ratio that is rich concrete more paste is available to make the mix cohesive and fatty to give better workability on the other hand with higher aggregate cement ratio that is this lean concrete less quantity of paste is available for providing lubrication hence workability is reduced next one is size of aggregate the bigger the size of aggregate the lesser is the surface area and hence less amount of water is required for wetting the surface hence less paste is required for lubricating the concrete surface to reduce internal friction so for a given water content and paste bigger size aggregate will give higher next shape of aggregate the shape of aggregates greatly influences the workability of concrete. angular flaky and elongated aggregate reduces the workability of concrete that is very harsh concrete rounded or sub rounded aggregates increase the workability due to due to the reduction of surface area for a given volume or weight therefore an excess paste is available to give better lubricating effect rounded shape aggregate has less frictional resistance and gives a higher workability as compared to angular angular flaky or elongated elongated aggregate river sand and gravel provide greater work, workability to concrete than crust now surface texture of aggregate the surface texture of the aggregate also has a significant effect on the workability of concrete the total surface area of rough 
texture, texture aggregate is more than the surface area of a smooth or glassy texture aggregate of the same volume. Thus, rough texture aggregates will show poor workability, and a smooth or glassy texture aggregate will give better workability. The reduction of interparticle frictional resistance offered by a smooth or glossy texture aggregate also contributes to higher workability of work. But taking into account the poor interlocking action provided by the glossy texture aggregate, its use is generally discouraged in high strength. Now, grading of aggregation. Grading of aggregate has the greatest influence on workability. A well graded aggregate has less amount of wires in a given volume. When total wires are less in concrete, the excess paste is available to be better lubricating. With the excess amount of paste, the mixture becomes cohesive and fatty, which prevents segregation of particles and least amount of compacting efforts is required to compact the Thus, the better the grading of aggregate, the lesser would be wires and higher will be the volatility of the Now, use of admixture. The use of admixtures also has a greater influence on the volatility of concrete. In general, the plasticizer and super plasticizer greatly improve the volatility of the concrete. Use of air entraining agent in surface active reduces the internal friction between the particles and introduces a larger number of very minute air bubbles, which act as a sort of ball bearing between the particles and give easy mobility to the particles and thus increase workability and decreases heating and segregation also. Similarly, the use of fine Glassy pudlanic materials increases the surface area and offer better lubricating effort effects for providing better workability of the Next is use of supplementary cementitious material. Supplementary cementitious materials are those materials which are used with cement to modify properties of these materials are flyers, fibers. Silica film, slag cement, etc. The use of fly ash is to improve the workability of the concrete by reducing water content required for the same slum value. The use of synthetic fibers in concrete reduces workability of concrete as it makes the movement of aggregates harder by reducing the lubricating effects of cement paste in concrete. The silica film is used in concrete. They reduce and increase the workability of concrete based on its quantity. The silica fume can improve the workability of concrete when used at low replacement rate, but it can reduce workability when added at a higher replacement rate. The use of slag cement improves the workability of concrete. Next is time. Press concrete is stiffens with time. After mixing concrete, some water is absorbed by aggregates, some may be lost by evaporation, and some may be spent for initial temper reaction. Thus, the workability of concrete reduces with time. This loss of workability with time is known as slump loss. The loss in workability by time depends on various factors like initial workability. If initial workability is high, slump loss will be greater. Second one is property of cement. If alkali content is high and sulfate content is low, slump loss will be greater. Third one is moisture content of aggregate. Dry aggregates will absorb more water and workability will be Now, tenth factor is temperature. The effect of temperature on workability of concrete is noteworthy. If temperature is high, evaporation increases, and thus high temperature reduces workability and increases slump loss. Slump loss is less influenced by temperature in stiff mixes because this type of mix is less affected by a change in water. 
11th factor is wind. If wind is moving with greater velocity, the rate of evaporation also increases and reduces the amount of water and ultimately reducing water. 12th factor is fineness of cement. The fineness of cement also affects the workability of concrete, but to a much lesser extent. The workability of concrete is reduced with increase in fineness of cement. Higher fineness results in rapid hydration and increased water requirement, both of which reduce workability. That is why rapid hardening cement will have reduced workability as compared to ordinary Portland cement because of higher specific and finally, 13th factor, that is sand to aggregate pressure. If the amount of sand is more, the workability will reduce because sand has more surface area and more contact area, causing more resistance. Now I will discuss how to improve the workability of Number one, increase water sedimentary. Number two, increase size of aggregate. Number three, use well-rounded and smooth aggregate instead of irregular shape. Number four, increase the mixing time. Number fifth, increase the mixing temperature. Number six, use non-porous and saturated aggregate. And finally, number seven, with addition of air into the mixture, you can improve the workability of concrete. दोस्तों अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो लाइक और शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा जैसे कि जो इच्छुक इंजीनियर्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हैं वो कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सीख सके अगर हमारे चैनल पे अगर आप नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें बेल आइकन को जरूर हिट कीजिएगा जिससे आपको लेटेस्ट अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा हमारा मोटिवेशन बढ़ता रहेगा वीडियो देखने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद